So I have Mipi here on the final day of the sixth major Paris. We've just done the show match, yeah. which you were great being in. I, I think I speak for a lot of people here. I really respect players who have come to a tournament like this, got their expectations of what they want to do. The show match is not what you're expecting to do, what you want to do on the final day, right? No. How was the show match for you? It was quickly. It was good fun. Yeah. You know, that's, that's all it is at the end of the day. It's good fun, you know. You just get on the stage, you play with your fellow peers, and you just have a fun time. Yeah. Grand Finals Day though, and there was a really good prospect of Team Secret being there. And if you don't know, these are the guys who are I don't know for so long, right? And you've been on this massive charge. Let's go back to uh, how did this team like come about for you way back before even your Challenger League progress started? Yeah, so we had some players leave the team because they had the, the majority when they left the team, so they got the Pro League spot. So basically it was up to me, Lackey, and our substitute, Leon, uh, to find a couple of new players to bring in. So we brought, in, brought in our coach, Feral. We found uh, Stizzy, who had uh, just been released from Millennium. So with that, we went into Challenger League. Uh, we qualified for Challenger League, and then we moved Feral back to the coaching position and found them, who had uh, who was trialing for Millennium at the time. Uh, but instead joined us. Uh, then we had our roster, and then yeah, then on is history. Challenger League came, and you went through that, and got promoted to Pro League, and we were calling you I don't know, and we joked a little bit around me picking you guys up, which were uh, like that was purely for bargaining purposes. That was purely to get them a proper org. Team Secret, come along as you guys are making it through Pro League. How did how did that come out? When did you first hear that Team Secret were interested? Um, well, we first noticed that a couple of them were uh, following us yeah. on Twitter. So that's oh like, yeah, all the eyeballs, all the so, kind of yeah. So yeah. so you kind of look at them and think, oh, these guys are looking at us. You know, maybe there's something there in the future. But nothing really came of it. And then uh, the team was deciding on you know what works we want to go with, and we decided that it's in our best interest to wait after DreamHack Valencia, see how we do, see if anything comes from it. And if not, then sure, we'll go with what we've got. We'll hopefully something comes of it. So we won DreamHack Valencia, and then a few days later, I got a message from right. Team Secret. Were there other, you, I'm sure you won't say who, were there other orgs in the picture? Were people reaching out to you? Yeah, there was other orgs in the picture. Cool. Okay, good. Well, well deserved. This is Challenger League to Pro League to DreamHack Valencia win. is massive. What was it like going to DreamHack? People presumably knew you were a good team, but they weren't picking you to win that. Yeah, we went in not necessarily as underdogs. Uh, people had expectations of us. To us, DreamHack Valencia was more about uh, a safety net if we didn't qualify through the online qualifications for this event. Okay. Um, so once we'd qualified, uh, the, just the week before DreamHack Valencia started, we just went into the event with you know laid back, you know hands behind our heads, just like yeah, we're just here to play and have some fun. Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll put on the best show we can because obviously we still need an org at that time. So it's like yeah, screw it, Let's just play. You know, no stress, and we just went on to win the whole thing. Do you think? that relaxed attitude is a significant part in how you won or were you also just prepared and ready and playing the rest of the time? I think the attitude has a, a big impact as to how we play, like if we're tense, if we're upset, if we're tilted, then obviously we're not, we're not going to do as well. We're a very emotional team, we do rely on our emotions quite a lot. Some of my team members more than others say like, uh, I'm a little bit more you know, mellow, calm, yeah, relaxed. Yeah. Um, but uh, if we have that environment where no one is stressed, no one is tilted, everyone's relaxed and having fun. We just seem to steamroll our competition. Yeah. It's uh, it's when the chips get down is when it gets better. I mean, that's, that's, that's why I've tripped up teams again and again and again. This is when you've got to turn it around. We've seen some of that here. Uh, I don't like it when a team lose a map and they stay in their seats. It feels like, get, get up, shake that off, come back, win a game. It's just the next bit. Um, you guys had a great run here, made it through groups, made it onto our grand final stage, knocked out Team Vitality in front of a super passionate French audience. It was so good for that here. Uh, G2, though, people actually thought you could take them, and that's not a thing many people have said about many teams at all. You also thought you had a good go. Yeah. Um, like, at the end of the day, uh, G2 are an amazing team. I don't think anyone would ever yeah, deny yeah. that. Uh, they're number one in Europe for a reason. Uh, their, their time will come eventually where the throne will crumble and someone else will take the place but they played an exceptionally well uh, well match yesterday I expect them to carry that momentum on to today I'm yeah. rooting for Europe so I got a root for GT okay yeah and then if you lose to the winners yeah. well, that always, yeah. everybody always goes oh, it doesn't matter if you lose uh, them against EG you care to make a best of five prediction best of five prediction I think if, if G2 played the way they did yesterday against us I think we're looking at a 3-1.
All right, all right. And what is next for you? So the next sort of two days before Pro League kicks back up again? So we're going to DreamHack Montreal, which starts in three weeks, I think. Yes, uh, three, four weeks. Something like that. Yeah. Yep. So that's next for us. We're going to see if we can qualify for the Six Invitational. Yeah. And then after the, the next day after we get back, we have a Pro League match against Millennium. So that should be fun. That's how we're going to return to yeah. Pro League. Remember, it's coming back second half of the season. Uh, me, Pete, so good to see you here. I have to say, I'm pleased to see some more UK people around. Wherever it is, I get asked about UK esports wherever I go. Well done. I know you didn't get the big W that you wanted, but a great performance from Team Seeker. Congratulations, man. I will look forward to seeing you many times on our stages in the future. I have no doubt. Thanks also for the time to do that. That's me, Pete. That's Team Secret. Remember, like the video. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. I will not only take you to meet wonderful people like this man here, and to the events like we do in this incredible place. But also take you around the world on all the different TV and events and things that I do and show you how they're done as well. So if you like all of that, I'm Matt Andrews TV here on YouTube, also on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and ESL underscore Matt on Twitch if you like some of that too. Well done again, Matt. We'll see you again. Goodbye. Thanks, everyone.